Jennifer Polizzi here from Orion. Uh, welcome to my deep dive of the Aurora 5% Repayable Down Payment Assistance Program. Again, part of my DPA success video series. Make sure you like and subscribe to get all these videos as soon as they're posted. Uh, but this one is a very popular program. It's the 5% um, Aurora DPA and it is repayable every month. This is the deep dive into the program, how it works, how to structure your loan. So stay tuned, watch this video, like it, subscribe, um, and start using this program right away here at Orion. So we are going to use an example of a $250,000 purchase price. You're gonna get the 96.5% first at a mortgage from FHA. Then for the 5% repayable, you are going to uh, get a 5% of the purchase price down payment assistance second mortgage. And your borrower is going to then have 101.5% CLTV financing. So you get a $241,000, $250,000 first. And we'll use an example of a 7.75 rate. Then the $12,500 second mortgage is at a 9.75% 9 9 rate. And that is, of course, 2% higher than the first mortgage. You calculate the payment on the second mortgage over 120 months at 2% higher than the first mortgage. So that's using that 9.75% rate. Your borrower will have a monthly payment on this. It comes in a separate bill. And um, that is going to be the 101.5% CLTV financing. So when you price out this loan on the quick pricer, and you, I do have videos on how to price this out, you're gonna see the differences in the cost of the program. So when we look here, we are looking at the Aurora DPA 5% repayable second. We're using the example of 7.75%. And remember, this is a borrower paid pricing. There is no borrower paid compens or lender paid compensation. It's only borrower paid that you are going to add into the borrower's closing costs. So it's important when you're using these programs that have discounts to get seller concession to pay for it. Um, this program, as you could compare to the other programs, the rate, again, 7.75%. That is going to be at a cost of 0.252. That is a discount. Your borrower will get 5% of the purchase price. So 3.5% will go toward their uh, minimum required investment. And they will get another 1.5% that will go toward their closing costs. So this is very helpful program when you have borrowers that are very short on funds. But let's compare it to the other repayable programs. So this is the repayable 5%. That's at a cost of 0.252. If you're doing a 3.5% repayable program, we know the Aurora is going to be a, a lender credit of 0.497. But as you can see, the boost here is going to be a 1.168 credit for that same interest rate um, of 7.75%. So when you're comparing these programs, the borrower will be getting the additional help here in down payment assistance, but they won't be getting the lender credit. So when you do your closing costs uh, summary or your cash to close summary for your borrower, it is important to compare the difference between lender credit and getting that additional one and a half percent and which one will help them uh, get the least cash to close because of course they're down payment assistance program borrowers and they need as much help in their closing costs as they can get. So that is how the Aurora 5% DPA repayable works. Um, make sure on this program, you are always comparing closing costs and cash to close for your borrower, as well as adding that monthly payment into um, the borrower's DTI to make sure they still qualify. Uh, even with the DPA program, you still have to have qualifying ratios per FHA guidelines. So if you have any other questions on DPA programs, please reach out. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.